Hi, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be having a look at this Yolio R9 and the things I need to buy to upgrade my R6 to this R9. Okay, so this is Yolio's new R9 disc brake Aero Road frame set. As you can see, it's $1,089.99. That is dollars, depending on your exchange rate. Um, you'll get a better price in your in your um, normal currency. So we've got all these colours to start with. Um, they also do custom paint for sixty dollars, I believe. I'm not sure. I think that's what I was quoted. And um, we've got frame size here, and we've also got handlebar size. Now this first number is the handlebar width. And the second number is a stem length, stem length, rather. Bit of a tongue twister there. Now, the things I'm going to need. Well, the first thing, um, if you watched my last video, I went through what I was going to have to buy, and then I found some. This isn't ex uh, this isn't necessarily the place I'm going to buy them, but it was just to uh, give you a visual of what I'm going to have to buy. So. Um, I could use my current tires, which are a GP4000 S2 uh, in 25mm, however I'm going up to 28mm, um, so that's why I put this up on the screen, going up to 28mm. Um, I'm also going to latex inner tube, and um, these are the, just some ones I found. Um, as you can see, they're not for 28mm, it's because we're out of stock of 28C uh, in the tubes at the moment, but they are six pounds twenty-four. Um, also, because they've only got a fifty-one mil valve, I'm going to have to get some valve extenders. Um, this is because my rims are sixty mil deep, and fifty-one mil probably will just about come out the end, so I won't be able to pump them up. I also need a valve core remover tool, uh, just a cheap one here I found. I'm not sponsored by Wiggle in any way, it's just um, where I normally buy my stuff from if you've been following my videos. Um, we're going to need that to take the valve cores out and to tighten back up the extenders. And next I'm probably going to get a 160mm front rotor, I've been riding 140s for uh, 5 years. Um, I just thought I'd give a 160 a try, seeing as probably all the bikes in my local bike shop have a 160 front rotor. I can't see any with a 140, so manufacturers must know something I don't. Probably more brake is safer, but I've not struggled on the 140s. So um, next, I'm going to have to get some um, hydraulic hose, uh, brake hose. This is where I got my last lot for my R6. Um, from r2bike.com um, in Germany. They usually come quite quickly, within a week. Um, I'm going to need them because uh, I can't be bothered to use my old ones and I just want some new ones. Um, next up I'm going to need a um, bottom bracket because on my R6 it is a BSA thread, that's the option I chose. On the R9, it is a BB86 press fit. So, um, because I don't like press fit, I've had a lot of problems with it creaking. So I'm going to go for this, or not specifically this one, but this type of uh, press fit threaded bottom bracket. As you can see, it's got a thread in the middle. So you press in um, one side, and then you uh, put in the other side and screw it into the opposite side so it locks in with uh, no creak. I've tried them before on my BB30. On my first bike I had a BB30 threaded bottom bracket, um, sorry a press fit threaded bottom bracket and that seemed to do the job, stop the creaking. Um, I'm also going to need a press fit tool because I sold my other one when I moved to the BSA threaded. I didn't need it anymore so sold it to raise some money um, but now I'm going to need a press fit tool again. Not necessarily this one, this is just one I found. I also found one on Wiggle, um, the X-Tools press fit bottom bracket installer. 
it doesn't matter which one. Um, I've used this one on the screen, I use that one for my BB30 press fits. Um, this one looks cool because it's got all of the all of the bits, um, all of the sizes you need uh, there. So uh, back to the bike, this is what I'm going to be ordering. The next job I've got to choose is which paint scheme I'm going to choose. Am I going to go with one of the standard ones? That one is pretty cool. I've got a black bike at the moment. I'm probably going to need um, I want a colourful bike. I've never had, really had a colourful bike. I've always had black. Um, I had a Roubaix black and yellow. Uh, I've had a yellow R6 Aerodis, which is the Ghost, which is um, this colour. Um, so now I want a colourful bike. Um, and on the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to be looking around the internet, trying to get some um, ideas for colours of bikes. So that is all for today's video. Thanks for stopping by and having a look. Um, I'll leave you with that, the R9. And thanks for watching. Take care, subscribe, like, and comments below. See you on the next Kairos House. Bye.